under your wing Wanna break out of this thing We act before we think Can't push over the brain I've got a feeling I'm not the only one I've got a feeling Hello and welcome to Pixel PM. Today I will continue my series about how to start podcasting. Let me just turn the music off for now. If you missed my last video, which was about 10 reasons why you should start the podcast. I have it linked down in the description. And today we are going to continue this discussion and talk about how you can come up with your topic. And that is not always easy. I will talk about this in four steps. Step number one is to make a list of all your ideas. And there are a couple of questions that can help you write down ideas like this. First of all, what interests and hobbies do you have? Second, what are you comfortable talking about? What do you care most about? Or maybe you are an expert on something. You can also ask yourself, what do people come to me for? What do they ask me about? Is there a specific topic that people often ask of your advice? But also think about what you enjoy listening to. Maybe you can get some ideas from that. Or are there things that you maybe not are an expert on, but you are curious about? And what kind of topics gets a reaction out of you? Either a positive or a negative one. With this, these questions in mind, you can write a long list of possible topics. But that is really not handable when it comes to deciding on your topic. So you need to use that first list and narrow it down somehow. And that will be step number two. If you look at this list, is there any topic that stands out to you and you can already see? You can visualize several episodes of a, top, of a podcast on that specific topic. Or maybe there are some topics that you actually can find several subtopics too. So you can create series with subtopics under the umbrella topic. And which of these topic can you talk about forever and ever? And maybe more important, are there any of these topics that you have a specific angle on? Maybe you have a unique point of view on any of these topics. That should help you narrow down this initial list. The next step is to think about your audience 
And I know this might sound crazy because you haven't even started yet. You don't have an audience. But it is important that you try to identify who you think would listen to this podcast. And try to do this for each of the narrowed down topics you have. Let's say, for example, you have narrowed down the list to three topics. For each of these three topics, try to imagine who would the listener be? Who would your audience be? If we take a look at my podcast, The Swedish Fika, I imagine this audience to be people with some Swedish heritage, maybe, that are curious about Sweden and Swedes. I also can see people that are thinking about traveling to Sweden have an interest in that podcast. And the third group I'm thinking about is people that are have a general interest in different cultures and different ways of living. And why is it important to try to think about your audience? Well, this can be important to try and figure out what kind of a reach your podcast would have or possible reach. If you have narrowed it down to three topics and you try to picture who the audience is for each one of them, maybe one stands out as being the one that would have more possible people listening to it. When you have an idea about who the audience might be, try to write down what possible questions, problems, or just general curiosity would the audience have about this topic. Are there any specific problems that they would want to solve? Or are there any specific questions that you can answer for them? Now you might have one or two topics only left from that initial list. But before you make your final decision, there is a fourth step that I would recommend that you do. And that is check out your competition. With this, I mean, use your either you have a favorite podcast app that you usually listen to podcasts on or use the web. And search for other podcasts within this theme, within this topic. And do that for each of the topics you have left on your list now. First of all, how many podcasts are there out there about this topic? But go a little bit deeper. Look through, when you find them, look through how many episodes have they done and what kind of episodes, what are they covering? And maybe more important, what are they missing? Especially if you have a topic where you have a very specific point of view. What is it that you can contribute within this topic that they don't? 
I also suggest that you listen to a couple of these podcasts because each niche or each topic has a very specific rhythm to them. A sport podcast sounds very different from a self-development podcast. So take your time, listen to a couple of episodes, see if you can find something that they all have in common. It can be way of tempo, how they use music or not use music and things like that. And get a feeling for the topic you are interested in. Even more, if they have, for example, a website connected to the podcast, take a look at their website. Are there any activity on the website? Are people interacting with them? Take a look at their social media, if they have social media, and see, are people active? Are people interested? And that can help you decide which of your ideas of topic will suit you best and will have a specific place within the podcast community. Hopefully, this can help you narrow down your ideas. And next time, I will start discussing different formats for podcasting. So if you want to follow along in this series, Hit that subscribe button below and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified. Now that this part of this live stream is over, I will return to my chat and see who has listened. And I hope you excuse me for not paying attention to Let's see who we have here. DJ came in early with his own ideas about steps to take. Let me see what he's saying here. Think about what you can easily talk about. Step one. Step two, figure out questions people may have. Step three, write notes. Step four, make you make you take time to get it right. An optional step, step five, freak out. I agree with most of it, but I don't know about step five, actually. But I'm sure you will pop in in a little while and we can talk more about that. And as always, you are welcome, DJ. Charlotte is here. And you are excited. That excites me. Julie came in. Hi, Julie. Welcome. And we have Jason here. Haven't seen you in a while. Very welcome you as well. So... As always, I'm going to share the link to this live stream. I'm sorry that I was so unintentive in the beginning, but I wanted to be able to edit that part as a standalone video. So that's why I decided to do this. I had hoped to be able to film it during the day, but I didn't. So here we have the link to the stream. Let's see. With YouTube, one has to niche down to be successful. That's the rumor anyway. How far should the podcast niche down 
are broader topics more acceptable? Uh, You should recommend to niche down, but that is very dependent on what type of podcast. If your main theme is something that have a lot of competition, say that you decide to do a sport podcast and then you narrow down to what kind of sport and the more competition in the field the more you need to niche down to stand out and here we have i thought we had him where did you go there you are yeah, um, hi cj no there you, there you are hi, hi charlotte Hey. What are you doing there, DJ? I uh, let's see, Jason's to... busy with promotion stuff with my book. I can imagine, Jason, hope it goes well for you. What are you trying to do there, DJ? DJ? Pia, the reason oh, I asked that oh, question. I wrote you up, didn't I? I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't know this was the party channel, Pia. <laughs> oh, it's the party channel. <laughs> yeah. uh, wh what was it you said? Well, the reason I asked you the question about how far down to niche in a podcast is. I've always wanted to do a uh, a parenting channel, but more specifically, teenage parenting, how to parent teenagers. And, yeah. and I can talk for days about something like that. Of course, I can talk for days. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. I don't ever shut up. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, Good you know, I, I'm sorry. That's a great uh, quality if you want to make podcasts. That's true. Um, I should have started that before you too. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, that's been a thing. Yeah. I always wanted to do that. But, um, you know, <laughs> the, the one thing holding me back, number one, I'm not certified. I'm just a parent who has owned seven teenagers. Actually, I've raised seven, eight, nine, ten teenagers because I – took care of three that weren't mine and mm. two that had some specific serious problem. Um, but I can't give out specific advice about children with, you know, either mental health problems or only how to be a supportive parent, not a yeah. teen, you know what I mean? And I so I'm not sure. I'm not sure which route I would take with that because I really believe it could be a little bit successful. A little bit. Let me, yeah, let me show you here. I just did, uh, let me move this over to no, I've screen closed. and share my screen here. Uh, I did a very quick search on teenage parenting podcast oh here, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it goes on and on and on oh my so, i would think that because these are the most successful that shows up here right i would think if you can find a specific angle and narrow it down it would be helpful yeah. how about parenting teens wait a minute with old-fashioned values
Nah. I, yeah. I don't know. You you have to do the research. I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. At the first glance, I would think if you want to stand out, because that's what the niching down is. Right. I either have a specific, very specific angle that not hmm. out there, or right. niche down to you, narrow it down to specific topics, and then mm. you can branch out. I think that is the easiest way to go. Just that experiment start, with different topics. That you start. No, you start with a very specific topics because you need these are I mean podcasts when I look at them they are podcasts with so many followers I mean these are right. big podcasts yeah so it's that is a very broad theme to try gotcha. and put get your foot in unless you have a specific <laughs> I can find how many are there. You could do a podcast on how to stop your cat from getting your fish tank. <laughs> how to use a fish tank as a fish tank and a cat waterer. <laughs> I have I found one website here that just lists the top 60 racing teenager podcasts. Oh, my goodness. So, I mean, it's... Maybe that's an oversaturated market. I don't know. Well, that's hard. But, but then it, again, everybody has their own take on how to do things, too. Yeah? You know? Yeah. And... Uh, Every parent out there has their own ideas, and they're going to listen to people whose ideas line up with theirs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why you, I think, you need to be niched down. Right. Going. Sorry for a second. I'm missing the chat here. You're so right. Jason, for topics, always talk about things you know. There are listeners for any topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cancel culture is scary. I'd be afraid of pissing off the wrong person. <laughs> That's with everything we do. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Every niche there is a following for it. But just as mm -hmm. we talked about yesterday when we talked about uh, YouTube. Yeah. That it depends on why you're doing it. Right, right. Doing it just because it's that you don't are focused on growing a following, and then it doesn't matter. But if you want to be more successful, you have to think about this. This right, yeah. right. That's, that's, I'm I've been considering a science fiction podcast, but there is so much competition. Yep. Right. That is also very saturated area. Yeah. So you either need to narrow it down. I mean, science fiction podcast, it can be, if you want to talk about already existing science fiction, you could do a podcast about science fiction's movies in the 50s, mm. for example. Yeah, as a niche down or science fiction literature for kids or for teenagers or I mean there are ways to narrow it down to be yeah. very specific but science fiction as a top tier is very competitive what are you yeah. doing, DJ? Just a gentleman <laughs> and that. He's doing acrobat. Yeah. yeah. DJ, 
let's hear about you. You had these, I scrolled up, these okay. five steps, four steps. I, I, oh, yeah, the, four, the five I, steps. I like number five. Why <laughs> do you disagree with that five? Because if you freak out, you have chosen the wrong topic. <laughs> That's how easy it is. <laughs> if you compare to the four steps I have, the thing uh, you didn't really talk about here is checking out the competition. Right. Yeah. And I think that is important when you have narrowed it down, when you have a couple of... Uh, and yeah, I definitely agree with you on that, but I was more friends with that in the way I began my podcast because all what I did all in the and you know I did try to hit on what you mentioned tonight with step one and two so that I was kind of surprised that that, that was on the same track as where you were going, so, hey. Yeah, and hey, Jason says, maybe I can talk about how science fiction influenced our society. I think <coughs> even that is a little broad. I think mm. you need to be more specific than that. How science fiction enter the real world and to example this was in science fiction in the 1950s yeah like, having the real world i mean to just give a example for that you could do how the soundtrack if it all society today. How did what? Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Things in Star Trek that is in the real world today or something. Yeah, yeah. I'm still waiting on a replicator. Yeah. Okay, right. And I'm still waiting on Rosie the Robot Wait. from the Jetsons. We want we want an example. Yes, tell us. Yeah, I'm curious. But yeah, um. And I think when it comes to science fiction, that is such a wide ca category. Mm -hmm. uh, So if you can do something like Star, Star Trek even is such a wide category. Yeah. Think of all Trekkies out there. There are millions, millions, millions. Yeah. So and they, right. if you so. can pick something specific within Star Trek and translate it. Yeah. Let's see here. I see Princess Cruises uses a medallion to track you and see where you are on the ship. Star Trek The Next Generation did this. They did. Yeah, exactly. Yep. They did. And I think if you could use, and maybe start even narrower, say that you want to use Star Trek The Next Generation. Things in Star Trek, Trek The Next Generation that are reality or something like that. So you maybe start with just one Star Trek series and then you can expand yeah i'm yeah. about to ask you a really dumb question pia when you're finished there are no dumb questions there are only oh this was a dumb one <laughs> i yes, have never watched a podcast in my life how do i find them you don't 
watch them. Most of them are audio. I mean, I've never listened to one. See, that's uh, how much I know about podcasts. Let me show you. I okay. my favorite podcast app, which won't surprise anybody here, is Google Podcasts. Uh -huh. I just have to turn down the light here on my. Oh, that's good because I don't have any eye products, Apple products. Yeah. Let me see here. Yeah. Um, it's right here. So if you download Google Podcasts, here is the podcast app. And then you can go to Search Explore. And you just put in the search term there. If I want the podcast about Star Trek, uh -huh. I write Star Trek, I search, and up comes a long list of Star Trek The Next Conversation. Mm -hmm. More. Oh, that was one. And if I want to listen to it, I just click on the episode. Here, they, oh, they have long episodes. Oh, wow. How long? They are two and a half to three hours each episode. This is Ooh. probably a multi-host podcast. And they have yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. So I just go to the Play Store, find the Google Podcast app, and download it. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. And then you okay. open it and you search for whatever theme you have. Okay. And you yeah. find the podcast you like. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that you subscribe because that way you get notification when they Every right, right. upload. And let's yeah. see. I have here that I'm subscribed to. I'm subscribed to this one, for example. Animation. I know, I know which one that is. Okay. You, you recognize that? Yeah. And <laughs> Why would it, I recognize I my on the website. Podcast. I come to his website. DJ Talks, because it's his. Okay. So, let me, let me see. Let me see if mine is up right. Yeah, but that didn't take Yeah, me. I would definitely recommend subscribing to a Swedish speaker. <laughs> so, here is mine. The Swedish Fika, and when you click on the little, uh, let me go back and show you. That's not <laughs> what I wanted to do. Here, when I open my podcast app, up on top, you see, am I touching? Uh, yeah, I think you just touched it by accident. Here, up on top, you see oh, yeah. podcasts that I'm subscribed to or recently have listened to. Yeah. Okay. If I click on one of them, let's click on mine there. Uh -huh. I come in and I have a description. Uh, I can subscribe. You have a website and you have this share. So you can share the podcast with someone that you think would like it. Okay. And yeah. you like every other share you do on Facebook, YouTube, or message, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you have all the episodes down here. Okay. Yeah. So you just click oh, so on you the can just pick which button. one you want to listen to. Yeah, the newest one always appears at the top. At the top. That makes sense. And then... It's a little different depending on what player you are using. I mm. use Google as a, my, my favorite, but uh, what whatever uh, you are listening, whatever podcast, it's a little it dependent on what podcast player you're using, how many episodes they show, but you can always scroll. Right, right. Yep. Oh, here, uh, Julie says, I would like. True 
crime. Oh, Ooh, yeah. One of, my, yeah. one of my favorites are this one. True crime all the time. It's nice. I love their podcast. And then they have a second podcast that's called mm, True Crime... What is it? Unsolved, I think. Here it is. True crime all the time, unsolved. So those are crimes that never got solved. That That's is one cool. of my favorite podcast. But there are true crimes or 13 on a dozen podcasts out there. That yeah. is one very saturated genre. Right. Uh, Jason says, funny things, I got the pro mic and such as I do streaming to Twitch, so I needed that for it. Nice thing is that you can hook the phone to the car and listen to them on the road. Yeah. Yeah. I listen. I actually listen every time when I go to bed. I listen mm. to podcasts. So it's like having someone reading to you. It's so satisfying podcasts or audiobooks every night when i go to bed to relax yeah, yeah i i got this new mic too because i started podcasting i had my old mic mm -hmm. was good enough for youtube but now i got a uh condenser mic mm -hmm. to do my mm -hmm. podcast but I think for me, it was easy because when I researched the Swedish angle, most podcasts about Sweden are in Swedish. Mm -hmm. There are Swedish podcasts for other Swedes. So there weren't that many podcasts that were in English. Yeah. And... It was not many. The ones that are in English are very much about learning Swedish. Ah. Uh, well, I fall into that last category that you mentioned about. You, you were talking about the people, your audience that would watch your, your channel. And I love learning about different cultures and different places and the geography, the people, everything. And for me, that's just like entertainment. Mm -hmm. And um, I would, like I said, I'm going to download this when we're finished, the, the Google podcast, and I'm going to subscribe to your podcast. The first thing, because <laughs> I, I didn't I, know how, I, and that's what <laughs> I didn't. There are so many podcast players, so maybe Google Player is not the best for you. It's just that it fits my need. But if you go, uh, let me do a quick search yeah. here on the Play Store and see how many shows the, up for like Android. Well, five. Uh, so does your podcast get? Blasted on every single platform. If you put it on, well, most of yeah. them I have added mine. That's part of what you have to do when you start producing, because you don't upload the podcast. I don't upload to Google. Right. I have. I will. I will do videos. Oh, you use about Anchor, it. don't you? No, I no? I use Anchor for another podcast. I using for this podcast, the new one, I'm using Bus Sprout as my oh. host. But you yeah. have to have a podcast host and you upload it to your host, and then there is something called an RSS feed. That's mm -hmm. just a link to your podcast. And you take that RSS feed, that link, and add it to different like Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, and all of those. So it shows up there. 
Yeah. Does it cost Ooh. you money to add it to these different? Um, no. Uh, no. 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 Oh. Uh, and it, I will do episodes about hosting your podcast hosts too, if you want to host. There are advantages. Oh, yeah. I know DJ just. DJ has his podcast on his own yeah, website. Yeah, I have on my own website. Uh, but there are advantages, and I will talk about all that in a later episode. I will also talk about how to pick your host. Some are totally free, like Anchor are always free. Mm -hmm. and they're always up there. But if you choose like Buzzsprout, they just keep your episodes for 90 days in the free account and then they delete them. So I have a paid version of Buzzsprout, but there are others. Some are free, some are. So I will talk about that later on in this series too. Okay. But there are, we're far from there yet. I mean, for, I started planning for this podcast in April. Right, right. I in September. So. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to say this, but I'm in, I am officially over a year doing my podcast. Uh, and you're right, Voorhees. That's one of the things I would talk about next week when I talk about format. One host, single person podcast, multi person yeah. podcast. And I will also talk about audio only versus video. I chose to do video and audio. So I have a Swedish Fika has a YouTube channel too, where I put up my podcast episodes. So when I record them, I film them at the same time. Oh. And then I do some edit. But it all depends on what theme, what niche you are in. And I, I am not sure that I will keep on doing the video podcast. So when my season one here is over... And what did I say, DJ? I know you have heard this before. The, December 13th, I should have known yeah, that. Yeah. It's my last episode for season one. And then I won't start again until January 10th or something. Yeah, so are you going to break your podcast and, up into a certain amount of weeks? Or are you just taking the va the holidays as a vacation type period? No, no, I'm going to do certain amount of weeks. I'm going to do, I think it's 15 episodes. Okay. Per, okay. per, let me see here. I have to quickly check that I have my... Where is You're going to have to go back through this video and write down all of my questions because that'll give you good ideas for more videos. <laughs> no, I, I, all of this is already planned for Oh, okay. okay. Uh, yeah. I did 15 episodes in okay. the first uh, season. That's how I planned it. But what I will do when that is done... Mm -hmm. I will evaluate both the audio only and the video only and decide, is it worth doing both? So mm -hmm. eventually down the road, sometime next year, I can make a video and do a comparison when it comes to my own podcast on why I made this or that decision. I don't know right. what this will be yet. but yep. Right. So that is always interesting. And right now I'm so into podcasting. As I said yesterday, when I went into my analytics on YouTube, it was clear that that is what my audience wants from me on YouTube, on the Pixel Pia channel. Right. Without, without any doubt. And since I've been doing this 
preparation for so long now and started this podcast. I have done a series before focused on anchor. But now I'm doing, and I have done a couple of videos about uh, podcasting in general, about how to choose a mm. podcast host and how to plan and all these things I'm doing now. But I'm redoing all of it because now I have so much more experience. Right, right. Yeah. And I can give so much more information since I really did. When I did my last series about podcast, about how to get ideas and how to scripting or not scripting, I did a tutorial about and all of this. That was me learning. And as I was learning that, I was <clears throat> doing those videos. Right. So I have started to putting it into practice. Mm -hmm. I can do a more well-rounded episode about everything. Right, right. Last, last time I did a series of podcasting, I talked about several of these steps in one video. Now I have decided that I started with the 10 reasons why you should podcast. Then today I focus on getting an idea for the theme for your podcast, for your topic. Fine. Next time I will focus only on different types and formats for podcasting. Mm -hmm. So I can be more precise now than I was before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see what. Good night, Julie. I'm sorry I missed that you left. Oh, no. Uh, science fiction versus real life. That's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, science fiction versus reality. That's the better description. Yeah. I can talk about things that science fiction has that spilled over into real life and talk about science fiction got wrong when with science as well. Absolutely. That's, I don't know. I mean, I'm no expert on podcast statistics, but what mm. you do is you go out and you do your research. How many podcasts are out there that talk about these things? And what are their angles? And is there something different that I can contribute? Because mm -hmm. if there are, there are, this is a two-edged sword. Because number one, if there are many podcasts about the topic, shows you that there are a lot of interest. Yeah. There is audience. But yeah. on the other side, it is harder as a beginner to get noticed. Right. Unless you're just spectacular. Yeah. Or unless you have a very specific angle or mm -hmm. very narrow topic. So when people search for these type of podcasts, they have specific questions. And that's what I talked about when I talked about... Uh, trying to create your audience in mm -hmm. front of, in your mind, that think about what questions would this audience have? Mm -hmm. What would they specifically ask? And is that something I can build my podcast around? That will help you narrow down. Maybe... I mean, it's not as simple as a one question that, oh, how do I this or how do... But what type of questions would people ask? And can I focus my podcast on that specific type of questions? In, if it is in a narrow field where there are a lot of podcasts. Well, let me ask you this, Mia. Do, do you one get... Second. One second. Oh, okay. On the other hand, if you start to search... 
and there are very few podcasts. If it's almost impossible to find a podcast, that tells you that maybe people aren't interested in this topic. Mm -hmm. Because, and of course you can take a chance and start a podcast about that topic that seemingly don't have a lot of interest. And if you're lucky there, you stumbled onto a field that had a market, but nobody mm -hmm. had caught it yet. But that is... Yeah, yeah it could be a sleeper niche. It's a question about love. Okay, your question. Oh, my question is, when you do a podcast, do you get feedback on it from your audience like you do in YouTube? Do you people can. leave comments and ask questions and things like that? You can. You can. It's not, it's not very common. People are not used to comment like that. Okay. So they just want to listen podcast. and not participate. Unlike well, YouTube. Because YouTube is more of a participatory sport, so to speak. That, that's that's why, for example, that's why I have built a website connected to my podcast. So, I got and created an email list and do things like that. Many podcasts has very engaged audience, leaves mm -hmm. comments, take part in their website, join their uh, memberships on whatever. <laughs> whatever website they use, like what's right. it called? Like Patreon and that kind of stuff? Yeah, that kind of stuff. So yeah, there yeah. is a market, but it's not as common as people just add comments like it is. On YouTube, it's more focused on that part. Yeah, yeah. It's like inviting to... Uh, uh, yeah, like that, but that's also part of the podcast building up the podcast structure mm -hmm. that you remind people just like you do on YouTube that share this with a friend, or if you want people to comment, or you can actually leave reviews on website well, on websites on a um, podcast. Uh, you find oh, I see in the podcast. Really like you can leave a review on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Interesting. On the not on just on episodes on the whole podcast. This is a podcast yeah. I recommend this to. But also your podcast episodes, you need to uh, encourage those things. You need to do calls to action. What is it? Is it call to action? Yes. Yeah. But we call it on YouTube. Call to action. Mm -hmm. Yes, call to action. Uh, yes, a, you can, but you need to make a website and give them a platform if they choose to use it. <sighs> and you can add a forum and such. Yeah, that's okay. the next step yeah. I need to do with my website. Add a discussion forum. I'm not ready for that. That's uh, a lot, isn't it? Mm. It's not. It's pretty easy, but I mean, I'm building it slow. My podcast is new. I mean, sure. I just released my fourth episode. Was it yeah. Monday or third? Um, I don't even remember. Was it the oh, I can't wait to get my feet wet and at least just listen to everybody. You know. Was episode four I released? Yeah, this week. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, my podcast is still very small, and the thing is, you don't have statistics the same way you have uh, um, at YouTube. YouTube okay. have great statistics, but yeah. here you don't know. You have to snoop around at different players and see how, yeah, many, how yeah. much have they listened here, how much have they listened there. And yeah, different levels, different statistics. So. Yep. 
So it's, but I mean, I get statistics on my bus route. Let me see. These are things that will come much later in my uh, series here. But let me give you just a simple overview here. Let me share this. Share screen. Share. Okay, here we can see my podcast. Oh, wow, 109. This is total for the last 30 Whoa. days, 109 downloads. And Ooh. then I can see what, ep that's for all of them. What's the top episode? So the top episode, of course, is the short introduction I had. Right, and, then you, mm. and you can see top five apps. Sixteen okay. percent of my listeners have listened so on Spotify. Spot. Yeah, thirteen percent on the bed player. That is on my website. I put oh. an embed player oh, on good. my website every week. And then Twelve percent you and. 9% just use the web browser, the RSS feed, and listen on the web. And 9% mm -hmm. on I had ra radio. Mm -hmm. I can go in here. Let's see. If I go to websites, uh, Google Podcast Manager, since it's registered on, I can see here my plays for different episodes. And you see, the silent Swede was just played forty-seven percent. Google has one of the best analytics for podcasts. Mm. Uh, mm. Place in the first thirty days when it's published. Ninety-six percent have used their phone. Three percent have used their desktop. Yep. One percent that have listened. Have listened on the smart speaker. Huh. Hmm. It, does that mean like a um, Echo Dot? Yeah, something okay. like. And here you can see the top discovered by impressions, by clicks, no clicks, by click through rate. I don't have any clicks. So. And then I can go into. Let's see, Stitcher. Yeah. And see, they have... Um, on, why is it hidden? Oh, I'm not approved on Stitcher yet, so that was a stupid example. Let's go to Spotify, and I will show you uh, my uh, dash. Oh, I have two on Spotify. I have, or did I take the other off? No. Yeah, I took this off. No. I have my teaching one here. Uh, nice. That is on uh, Anchor. I have that hosted. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I can go in and see. Because I haven't done anything here since 2019. When I uploaded all this. But I also have my new one here. Swedish yeah. feet. Oops. And here you can see all my episodes, how many starts and how many streams. Okay. Nice. Yeah. So well, impressive. I, I like that. You have to run around. If I look all time since I uploaded, I have had 144 downloads. Just and since you started it, what, a yeah. month ago? 
Yeah, since I uploaded the introduction, let me see when did I? Wow. Yeah, one? and I. Oh, so that was in August. So that's since the beginning of August. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then you can go in and look at each episode. How many downloads? Uh, mm. Apps and devices. Oh my! You can look at where people are listening look at all those different places yeah Six in, are, the US. in north america 45 and look at in, in europe 13 in the, in asia yeah and then you can see here cities <laughs> uh, i have japan finland <laughs> taiwan <laughs> What are you laughing? Are you at? okay, DJ? <laughs> he saw his, himself there. <laughs> and yeah. um, and they have no, this just uh, the team. My city was to talk. City. Your city wants to talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, here you can see I have published five and I have. Reach hundred downloads. I don't know. Hundred and fifty is the next step. That is just wow. form. And then you can upload here. You can copy players for single episode or multi to use on your website. Mm -hmm. uh, they also provide you with a website. This is how their website looks like. Just okay. a very short introduction but i have made my own web, yep. web is that your google website that you made no no, no. Not I, for this I have an external web where I, I see I, I, I have i don't have any of mine on google i have had this web hotel since oh, i don't know since yeah. forever and this is where I have my. So I have put blog posts here, different mm -hmm. blog posts. Mm -hmm. And then I have all my audio episodes here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And I have all my YouTube things, both the shorts and everything else showing up here. Yeah. Mm. And that's it for now. Legal stuff. That's just terms of service, terms uh -huh. and conditions, and private policy for my website. But right. So I'm not using. So I am not using Buzzsprout's website, but if you only need a very simple website, you can build one here. Huh. And then what else do I get through them? And then you use this to uh, get listed on all these. So maybe that's why I haven't. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to do that now. But you can get listed easy instead of having to go to all of these places. To each individual place, it's all right there in one spot, huh? Some, some of them, some of uh, them. You have to go yourself. But and here are some other that they show up in when you are done on Apple Podcast. Uh huh. But so these are the main biggest. three: are Google, Spotify, and Apple. That's the main. Yeah, and then I have mine on Amazon Music too. Okay. Hmm. It should be on some of these too, but um, oh, and there's Pandora. I didn't realize that. Yeah, there, I there, would not. I Heart Radio. Pandora. Oh wow! And, uh, options for pen Patreon. And this is just the info about the podcast and. Mm. We're back to statistics. Huh. So you oh, see, I compared to the info you get from
from YouTube. It's not much. You get right. Oh, good night, Jason. Sorry, I missed you saying good night. Yeah. Uh, so compared with YouTube, you don't get much. Uh, Analytics. Yeah, no, much. Well, do actually listen to them and that shocked me that it was my city as number one. Your Siri? No, when, when you look at the locations of where they're yeah. listening from, if you look at the number one city. Oh, that was yours, Siri. Let me see again. <laughs> Uh, that's on the location. Location cities, yes, number one Cape, Cape Coral, Florida. Yeah, that's you, yes. Oh, you my most <laughs> most uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I wish your number one to fan. You a lot. Yeah, <laughs> he's my super fan. He's my super fan. You are the yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy you. Yeah, but I have. I have here, it's so funny because if I look here at cities, I have Lund in Skåne, mm -hmm. four downloads. And that's the twin city to where I went to college to become a teacher in Sweden. Oh. And I have contact with several of my friends back there on Facebook. So I'm sure that is... That's nice. A couple of my old uh, classmates from yeah. college. Mm -hmm. but they have Toronto, Vancouver, New Taipei in New Taipei, North Tonawanda in New York. I have New York, New York, Calgary, Alberta. Oh, wow. I have Yekaterinburg in Sverdlovsk Oblast. Kirkanama, Texas, Hawaii, Massachusetts, Florida, Illinois. That's fascinating. That, that it can reach out that far across the world. That is just fascinating. Have, of course, I have Stockholm. She's the mm. Stockholm. I don't know who that is. Uh, I have a lot in Sweden, Skåne, Sundsvall. And it's so fun. I like this. Even if it's just one person, but knowing that one person in uh, uh, Taipei, Tam Tamamura in Gunma, has listened to my podcast. It's like, isn't wow. it crazy? Yeah, it's like, oh, there is another of my old classmates, Malmuskon. I'm sure it is. I'm not sure, but I'm sure. <laughs> it's it's very interesting to see how you can reach people around the globe. Right. That is fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So, am I converting you to a podcast creator? You might be. It might be. <laughs> it's so fun. I will eventually make tutorials about how I record. I use Audacity to record my podcast. Oh, the, and do you store it on your computer and then upload it to Buzzsprout? But, I, yeah. edit it, 
I added it using uh, Audacity. Okay, okay. Yeah. You, oh, I didn't know you could even edit a podcast. What do you cut out all the ums and ahs and long and I, pause? Add, I, I, I will show you. Uh, but this is things that will come later on. Let me. Because if I say the wrong thing, I'm going to say something ugly and go, good God, Charlotte, what are you doing? And then I'll keep going. <laughs> Let me see here. Open. I will open the project. Let's open. Oh, not open that because that's next week. Let's open the last one I did. Uh, let me make it all picture. One second, and I will share this with you. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. So, I haven't shared it yet. This is how it looks in my... Audacity. This is the final product. So here I have one track here. The top track is the... Let's mute the others. Uh, oh, I don't think I shared it with audio. So this is uh, Will and me talking, the intro I use. Yeah. So let me... Make it a little bigger. So this first two part is the intro. So here is the music, and then I turn down the music a little bit while Will is talking. I turn it up, and then I I am talking, and then I turn the music up and so forth. Then here I have the episode I just recorded my audio file this yeah. is me speaking during the episode and then what you see let me fit it all in here what i mean by edit is i have sectioned it and this i will talk about when i talk about how to plan your podcast so this is the first little topic this is the second you see the cuts here there are yeah. these and then i add another music layer underneath where I turn up the music a little bit when these pa pauses are between parts of the podcast. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what so, I really need. So this is yeah. how it looks. And then when I export this, I export it just as one file. That looks so, really intimidating. No, it's not. It's so much easier than trying to do anything with yeah. it. So let me import at the bottom here just the final file. Wait. Do you think that I should buy another computer if I want to do something like this? Or... Is it possible to use the Chromebook to do this? Um, I'm sure you wait. can use your Chromebook. That's what I'm going to say. You might be able to solve it because with your particular Chromebook, I know it's going to die any time so you could give it a try but i, but I think you me. need a new computer anyhow charlotte yeah here hmm. did you see what i just did i imported another uh file here this on yeah. the bottom yeah is all these four tracks when I have exported them, it comes out to one file like this. Oh, nice. All of these are com combined. They're to just one combined. File. And yeah. that is what I upload to um, Buzzsprout. 
So okay, just that bottom line there. Yes. yes. Okay. That is a separate file, and I upload this. But this is when I'm working, when I'm adding music in between and all of that. Yeah. How long are your podcasts normally? Uh, mine are just between 10 and 15 minutes. I do okay. short podcasts. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I didn't so, know if there was a, a, a norm. No. Mm. I agree. So, a lot of podcasts, it depends on what format. If you are two hosts, it's usually longer. If you are, certain podcasts are two hosts and three guests or something. So they are really long. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some podcasts are just you interview people. And it's a variation from 10 to three hours, four hours. I mean... Oh. Wow. So, mm -hmm. oh, why am I showing my? I did this. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, mm -hmm. So, but I will talk about that later on too, when I talk about format for your podcast and all of yeah. that. Yeah. It's fun, and it's that might have looked scary, but it's. Easy, easy. I mean, I have never done anything of that before I started this podcast. Mm -hmm. Because the other podcast I had, the first one I did, I just took my videos from YouTube and separated the audio and converted that to my teaching podcast. I see. Yeah, and, and uploaded that on Anchor, and I did no editing. I just used the audio files from my videos as they were. So right. this podcast is the first time I have ever tried to edit anything and put in music. And I had Will do my intro and yeah, all of so. And, you know, and I it's easy. Work. I come with, I got into pop a few years ago because <laughs> Peter, you might remember, but I did a video where I interviewed William. Yeah. And that would have made a great podcast. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's absolutely not too late. Podcast has recently starting to gain popularity. Podcast is today what blogs were 10 years ago, five yeah, years ago. Yeah. So it's growing. Mm -hmm. And it has been growing fast. So it's absolutely not too late but there are a lot of podcasts out there i mean didn't i have numbers in my last i, I always end up on the tail end of things even the stock market it's just no you're definitely not on the tail end of anything here yet but yeah no Oh, well, I'll have to do myself a crash course with you, Pia. Well, I wish I had time to do that. But <laughs> well, I can just watch your videos. Yes, not right now. I'm focused on getting these videos done. That's sure. why. I, that's why I started the live stream the way I did today because then I have a video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So what I will do it I will uh, cut out that part of this live stream. I will leave the other live stream up and say if you want to listen to the discussion we had afterwards and I will link to that one. But oh, I see. Okay. We'll make this a regular video. Yeah. Right. yeah. Part I had in the beginning. I I was thinking of actually getting that video done today and upload it and do that 
as a premiere and then have the live stream start right after that. Yeah. But I didn't have, have time. So, but then I was thinking maybe this is my new way of doing videos because it is very much talking and at least in the beginning before I start doing the more how how to set up a bus route account I can do that in live streams too but if yeah. I do it this way so every Tuesday and even Thursday I start my first 20 minutes or whatever how long it takes is the part where I ignore the chat, I ignore everything going on. I just mm -hmm. do my regular video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As I would record it. And then I open up and I let people come in. We continue talking about the people can ask questions. And so we I think that's a great idea because that way too, you know, if you wanted to separate it and make one something else on a different platform you could do that you know you, what however no, I, you do it. I can leave the live stream up for people that are interested but i can cut out the first part and edit mm -hmm. it as an upload video yeah. right right okay okay i see what you're saying so that part can be both living on the live stream but also be a Except video on the video. Yeah, that's a great so idea. Live stream, they're killing two birds with one live stone. Stream will still be up as a video. Right. Yeah. And I just have so if I do the live streams like now, Tuesday and Thursday, and then I put up the edited version Wednesday and Friday. So I will have uh, without problems, I will have two live streams and two videos each week on the channel that's awesome yeah okay maybe i should sh move this to mondays and do mondays on wednesday live and tuesday and thursday upload i think that's better i have to think about that we'll see how easy it is for me to edit this part to and upload the yeah. video yeah well and you could also go do a week behind maybe I don't know. Just pace yeah, yourself. I, I, you're I very busy. I am. And you don't want to burn yourself out with and overwhelm yourself with just too much to do. No, no. When it gets too much, I just don't go online. I just... That's not a problem. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Mm. I, I, have, I have had some episodes where I feel like I've done too much. And then here's the problem with that. Like the first year that I did YouTube, I posted three videos a week religiously. That's but my how channel I didn't grow. I mean, it just, I think at the end of that first year, I had 200 subscribers and very few views. And no, um, so I took a month off to regroup. What is he doing? He's trying well, to organize. Uh, oh, uh, 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 so uh, I took that month off and I reorganized and then I started throwing in my gardening content as well. And then things really picked up. Well, in January of this past year, the thing is, I wasn't posting as much. I was posting one or two videos a week. Mm -hmm. And then in January, I started posting two videos a week. Well, I don't know what happened in February, but my views, my subscribe, everything went through the roof. And right now, I have more than doubled the amount of views and subscribers that I got in the whole year last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, but now things have started slowing down again after yeah. I took. I took a break in August when the kids started school because I get very overwhelmed after I've been home all summer and it's very relaxed and the kids are doing what they want to do. And then all of a sudden 
I have to get up at six o'clock, get them ready, make sure they eat, do all the things, sign all the papers, make sure the homework's done. So my life gets back into this routine, but it's hard to add other things to it. So I always take a two to three weeks off in August so I can kind of regroup, get in my routine and then add the video making to it. I'm thinking that might be a bad idea next year. I think I'm going to make some videos to fill uh, up that okay. space. Kill that. Oh, what do we have in here? I'm oh, not good. Go, kill them. I can't. But I can report them. Wait a minute. I'm not the way I'm on. I can't get to the yeah, I would have to drop out too. Okay, yeah. I open my, you might hear myself double, no but. Way on my okay, no, I can. What a creep. Good job. Good grief. Yeah, this, if I would have my cup. People are aware. Well, he's done now and he's reporting. I reported him too. Uh, That's all I could do, but I did it. <laughs> it's probably. A it's deleted. I'm gonna. I didn't know you weren't a. Uh, are yeah, you in the mom, chat? Mom, there you are. A mod. No, I'm not a mod. Let me make you a mod. I didn't know why. I'm never uh, on YouTube when I'm streaming. I should have it open in the background. Okay. Yeah, I know. Just mean. for situations like that. Yeah. But I, oh, I yeah. got it done. It's a well, I don't thing. mind getting rid of folks like that. Not a bit. Yeah. Mm. So, it's probably a bot. It probably is. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's so darn stupid. It is. And they can't even spell it right. Right. <laughs> Look what they spelled. I they can't, can't see it now because you deleted it. Oh. Adolf Hitler, they spelled it wrong with two O's and two E's. Oh, for the love of God. Mm -hmm. It's probably a kid. I just don't, you know, that, that's like I the whole virus thing. I think it's uh, hiding little fish in the kitchen. I think it is a bot. Marcel. <laughs> well, don't but, people create the bots? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. why would somebody create something like that just to annoy other people? I, it makes no sense to me. Then again, uh, but I, I think differently. I, I, have been, I have been very lucky. I don't have had many trolls on this. I've been very lucky, too, because all I had was that first night that I went live, and I had a really big problem with stuff just like that. And thankfully, so far, I haven't had any more issues like that while yeah. I've been live streaming. One night when I was live, I was doing my Zoom call at you know, Peter, and I had one guy who called in and said one word that made me just shut it down and had to take control. Sometimes and you gotta do that, honey. Yes. And, and it's a shame. I would definitely say it's a wrong it, that if, if Tony was in here, I wouldn't mind him saying it, but anyone else? Yeah, I'm killing 
perspective of right. myself. So, to, uh, I need. Are they back? I did know that. No, they're not back. Uh, I actually didn't know that. Uh, that was going around again. I need to add to my restricted words. That's what I did. I, I added shameful words to my restricted list. Yeah. Things I would never say. And I had a hard time typing them, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because to me, it was gross. But, you know. I mean, I'm on my restricted list, I have. Possibly every nasty word that I could think of, and I even have the combination of those words mm -hmm. blocked as well. So, hmm. you know what? I just added that weird spelling they had of mm -hmm. Adolf Hitler and good idea because okay. that might be something new mm -hmm. they have started just to be like able to slide under the radar the name yeah so yeah. I actually added that to my list right away just to make sure good idea i should add um, it it's yeah. crazy it's crazy this list yeah. is just growing and growing and growing I know, right? i'm gonna have guys my about um I, I am actually not going to hang out here too much longer either. Uh, well, uh, I try to finish editing. Keep watching cartoons. You are a cartoon, aren't you? You're just joking with us. And there he went. Yeah, I agree. It's just... What, did you have problem? What did I miss, guys? Marcel, do you want me to tell her what happened, or do you want to tell her? She had a problem with her kid's school, and she told me about it, and I was just curious how it panned out. Um, but I don't want to say anything if she doesn't want to say it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, I don't want to rain on her parade. Okay, what happened was her child is in a, a program at school and they're dancing to a song that is absolutely inappropriate for elementary age children. I mean, it's it's oh, just a okay. Cito, but they're doing it in Spanish. So, you know, English speakers don't know what they're saying. But the point of the matter is, it's, it's a gross song. It's very inappropriate. And she's mad about it. And I don't blame her. I'd be mad about it, too. And they're probably teaching those kids how to booty dance like grown people do on music videos, too. And that's just totally inappropriate. And I, I told her when she told me about it that I would do the same thing. I'd go up to that school and raise 40 kinds of mess and make sure somebody did something about but that. It's just... I don't understand the was sexualization of young children. The music? Right? The was teacher it picked the teacher that put the music on and Marcel, was it the the teacher is the one that chose the music or the children? Cuz I thought a college educated professional should know better. Yeah. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And what, uh, what kind of, what age is her kid? I 
think her her girl is somewhere around eight or nine years old. The teacher? Oh my god. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That makes no sense to me. People don't that's think. And see, that's another thing I put on my parenting podcast. <laughs> You know, stuff like that. That's it. It's just baffles me how a teacher can do a thing like that. It, me too. But, you know, the teacher's probably 20, 22 uh, years old just out of college. He had no uh, idea she was playing the song, or so he says. He probably did. He probably didn't. Yeah. I, I mean, I, 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 probably. I don't. First of all, I don't know what. I mean, okay, is it uh, physical ed, and they were dancing, or what? What kind of? It's lesson? a program. It would. Um, uh, I guess they're doing a show for the parents. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little dance so thing for the parents. It's not the regular lesson. Right. It, yeah. But my daughter went it, right to school and told her teacher, my mom says it's inappropriate. <laughs> teacher told her it's fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. I mean, if it was, if it was just the music and not the lyrics, maybe. But if there's lyrics, I don't think that's appropriate at all. Whether they're in Spanish uh, Swahili or English, no, it doesn't no, matter. No, it doesn't matter. I agree completely. Not fine. And I, I'm i pretty sure the VP didn't know. Yeah, I'm thinking he didn't too. He can't, you can't know exactly everything that happens in the school. But mm -hmm. even more shocking is that if her daughter told the teacher that it's appropriate. The teacher just said it's fine. Yeah, that is shocking. That is more shocking. I mean, okay, maybe the teacher was young. Maybe the teacher doesn't even know if it's in Spanish what it says. Right, right. Well, and all she has to do is I can Google it. it. When some Yes, I asked her if it was the Justin, and the teacher said it was the version from the original Puerto Rican artist. The song is still very dirty. Yeah. Well, shouldn't play dirty songs at, in any language. At no. That my, I don't even let my teenagers play that stuff here in the house on their phones and stuff. I'm, if I hear that stuff... With my son's watching a YouTube video and they're cursing like sailors, I'll tell him, turn that off. You are not allowed to watch mm -hmm. that. Oh, my gosh, Pia. Let me tell you what happened today. My son came in my room this morning to tell me goodbye because they were about to leave for the bus. And I noticed that he has a little bit of dark mustachy right here. And I almost cried. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> Okay, soon he's moving out, Charlotte. I know, right? Soon he's moving out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's only 12. But And he's got this little, he's got more of a, well, I might have more of a mustache than he does, but not much. <laughs> <laughs> well, has he, his voice darkened? It's starting to crack just a little bit. In fact, we were okay. walking. Where were we? We were somewhere the other day. And he was, oh, we were at the band competition and we were about to walk back to the truck and he went to say something and his voice went crazy. And he looked at me and he goes, I hate when my voice does that. I said, well, boy, get used to it because it's going to do it for a while. Yep. <laughs> yep. It's going to keep on cracking. So oh my. it's it's crazy watching because, you know, funny. Love when the boys are when you're other, working as a teacher, when you have you, like a whole group of them, and they, oh, when you work as a teacher, and you have like 
four or five boys in a classroom that are at that age. I mean, oh. it's hard not to start laughing at them. Oh, of course. of course. Hilarious. Oh, boy, he was proud of those hairs on his lip, though. Let me tell you what. When I said, I thought it was dirt. And, you know, I'm a mom, so I do the whole spit bath. Uh, you know, I was trying to get it off of him. And he's wiggling away from me. And I said, what is that? And I, and I got my phone out and I shine my light on his mouth. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> and he got this little gr grin on his face. He's like, yeah, I'm getting to be a man now. <laughs> you know? That's really funny. It's fun to watch him grow up. Yeah, it is. Okay, guys. Uh, I am actually going to end this. Okay. I'm well, thank you because I learned a lot, Pia. Sorry. I mean, I really learned yeah. a lot. I'm glad. Well, I will continue. I don't know if I will do it this way on Thursday or if I will do a regular video. We will see. We'll see. But I'll be there for it. It's it's actually fun when you do it this way because you can follow up with questions. Yes. Afterwards. Yeah. I do the tutorial part and then you can. So. I like the I, format that you do. I like it a lot. Maybe I will try this for a while and see what it what comes out of it. Right. Everything. Well. Let's I'm out of here, Pia. Yeah. Good night, I, my dear. Good night to you. And, and good, good night, night Marcel. Everybody that was here. Thank you very much. It was <laughs> very entertaining today. Yeah. See you later, my dear. See you. And to all, I wish you a good night. And we will end with some. Music. Out of bed still sleeping. Could I be dead? Or is it something I have done? Did I lead you on? To think that I was gone. Trapped inside.